What's up Katerpack, welcome back to another video. Today we were starting a new series on the channel called KOT Reviews. As it's the first episode I want to touch on a few subjects and points uh, just to explain what this series is about. Basically this series is my spin on reviews, my opinions. Uh, if you're looking to pick up a game because it looks interesting or even if you own the game and you just want someone's second opinion on the game I'm sure this series will be perfect for you guys so hopefully you stick around for the future. Before we get into the review guys I just want to note all gameplay shown on this channel today is recorded on PC and it's also been live streamed from my Twitch channel. If you want to watch these games live with like-minded people and an awesome community, I couldn't recommend enough coming down to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the gaming coyote. Without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into this review. So guys, what is Among the Sleep? Among the Sleep is a first-person horror action-adventure game developed by Krillbyte Studio and published by Sodesco. It was released in 2015, so I was kind of worried it wouldn't live up to today's standards. The really unique thing about this game, guys, is you play as a two-year-old baby called David. The game starts off when you're celebrating uh, David's second birthday. His mum buys him a gift, and it's a fluffy teddy bear. And everything seems normal, but as soon as you get back in your room, you climb out your crib, you know, you go to baby activities, and basically, this uh, bear has come to life, and he's talking to you, he's asking if you want to play a game. Uh, at this point, guys, you will be questioning if this is a horror game or not, but you are reminded by this bear that is terrifying, it is a horror game. But it can be mistaken for the baby simulator in the first 10 minutes. Um... Other note guys, it starts to kick off when the bear asks you to go into your closet. Um, you go into the closet with the bear and basically your mum saves you. But by saves you, I mean like <laughs> notices you're in the closet and basically takes you down before the bear could do anything. I, uh, so it turns to night time and that's when the horror aspect really kicks up a level. But the rest of the game, guys, I want you to experience if you're thinking about picking this up. This uh, review will be a spoiler-free review, so sit back, relax, grab a drink, and don't worry about them pesky spoilers. I hope you guys enjoy the review. At first glance, guys, Among the Sleep is quite unique, but doesn't really hold up to today's standards. With the outdated graphics, glitches, and poor controls, but when you start to play it more... The game gets so much better as time progresses. I found character models very poor and most of them will clip through objects and scenery more times than I would like, especially the teddy bear. I played the game on 1440p, 144fps and everything on max but still could tell it was outdated and clunky. I do want to point out though there was some points of the game where it generally looked beautiful, like the forest areas, but there was one point in the game... Um, when I was when I, you was looking at the tree and you could see all the light coming through trees, I put a clip in it, but it was fantastic. It looked really good. See, like I do insult the game's graphics, but this right here the, with the motion blur and everything is visually appealing. Like just the character models, Those the character models things. literally look like they blocks look like out of memories. Minecraft. But literally the next scene, or even that same scene, I was going along a bridge and the bridge hadn't rendered in and it f and it made me fall through the um it made me fall through the scenery. So it's like one pro, one con. It it like it didn't redeem itself in the end. Um I'm literally walking on sunshine. <laughs> okay. I'm literally walking. So this looks like it hasn't been rendered in. Now I'm literally guessing that the path is with creepy noises underneath me. Okay. Okay. 
but I'm sure we could let this slide, guys, if the gameplay is good, right? So let's talk about gameplay. So what's the gameplay like, guys? Overall, it's nothing to be amazed about, but it does its job. David can walk, crawl, jump, and even climb onto objects. He can also hug the teddy. That acts like a life for dark areas, but please note, you won't you won't use this ever due to the fact that the lighting's mostly great in the game and it's never overly dark to where you can't see. I must have used this about uh, three or four times through my whole playthrough. As we know, David's a two-year-old kid. He's limited in places like height and he can't move heavy objects. This is a great game mechanic and you start to feel defenseless, which you are because you are the baby. Even more to add the effect, you can't attack, you can only run and hide. It's a bit like Outlast, guys. While we're on the subject of hiding, I want to explain the horror aspect of the game. Is this game scary? My quick answer to that is yes and no. I know what you're thinking, like how can it be yes and no, but just hear me out a minute. Basically, I was rushing through this game, like at my own pace obviously, but I was boxing everything off, it wasn't that scary. Like, it was just the generic going around. You're thinking everything's around each corner. And then you actually get around that corner. Nothing's there. And if it is there, it's a big sound cue. And you just see something shift past your screen. I'd, you know, it's generic horror stuff. You Unless you've never played a horror game before, you wouldn't get scared of that. Unless you've got your volume maxed out. And then it will actually crap the pants out of you. But... A halfway through this game, guys, it throws a massive curveball, curveball, and I just was not expecting this at all. Um, the best way I can describe it, I'm spoiling it. It kind of turns into like a baby version of Outlast. I know that sounds crazy, but it's a big hide and seek game, and these monsters. There's only a few of them. I think there's two or three, but they are well designed. I do like the designs of them, and they can be scary, and the noises they make, you can hear the footsteps. The audio is very good in this game. And then um, you basically, it's like hide and seek, because once they move, you've got to move, and, you know, it's it's generic, but it actually is really good, and it did shit the life out of me, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, yeah, guys, horror aspect, halfway through the game, as time again as time progresses it just gets better so guys my final point today is the story i've definitely saved the best to last i absolutely love this story it's only two hours long if you're rushing it you can get through an hour and a half and that alone I totally recommend the game for it's a really boss story and it's it's short it's not taking too much time out of your day um so if you don't game that much it's perfect and basically I'm not going to spoil anything because it is a spoiler free thing but all I can say is this story hits hard and it continues to hit you after you finish the game it sticks with you and for that i think it's really powerful and well deserving to give you money if i'm honest with you i do want to add like a couple little points at the end um basically the collectibles in this game are like pages and these pages totally remind me of slenderman like the game and I don't know if it's a nod to it, I'm not too sure, but I thought I'd note this, but collecting these pages will nag you a really cool reward. I'm not going to ruin it, guys, you have to play for yourselves. But yeah, and the last thing I want to add before we give the final verdict is when you complete the game, you go to this, uh, I think... I think it's either a library or a theatre, I might be wrong, but you get what I mean. And there's a little art book of all the art and how the game was developed. And you can see how much passion the developers have put into this game. And it's totally worth looking out. I'm I'm not a big fan, I, like not a big fan, but I usually don't go through art that much. But this had me hooked. Uh, I usually just go through it once and then forget about it, but yeah, the art's really good and it gives some backstory on how they design the characters and the monsters and all that, so I definitely recommend if you have completed the game already, just go back and look at that. Um, there's also music in the game that you can listen to, but obviously today I won't be playing that because of copyright. But yeah, guys, let's get into the final verdict. So 
So guys, the moment you've been waiting for, the conclusion. Among the Sleep is a fantastic horror game if you can get past the graphics and the clunkiness at the start. It combines an awesome story with spooky atmosphere, great monsters and pretty terrifying moments. If you're looking for a short unique horror experience that is not too pricey and it's always on sale on Steam, I couldn't recommend this enough guys. That's why today I'm giving this game a 7.5 out of 10. I hope you guys pick this up. It's definitely worth the price. And I'm definitely going to look into more games by this developer and play them soon. Anyways guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, why not consider dropping a like? It really helps out and your support is much appreciated. If you want to follow me on this YouTube adventure, why don't you follow me? Remember to turn the bell on to be the first person to get notified when my videos go live. Last thing I will want to mention guys, if there's a game you want me to review, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. You might actually appear in my next video if you do so. Um, other than that guys, I hope to catch you on my next video. Stay safe and blessed. Peace guys.